In this video, we'll make logic that moves a dot on the sense hat board for Raspberry Pi when you use the joystick. First, create remote data flow. Remote data flow is found in the data panel and is always running when the server is on, even if DGLUX5 is not loaded in the browser. Add data flow blocks that get the current values of all five joystick inputs. Add two more blocks to represent the current X and Y of the pixel. We will make some separate logic for the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and a button press. For the x coordinate, add two if blocks and call them if left and if right. If left returns negative one if the left joystick input is pressed and zero otherwise. If right returns one if the right joystick input is pressed and the result of if left otherwise. This means the output of if right is the number to add to the x value. Now create an add block that changes the x value. Some simple logic determines that the moving pixel wraps when it gets to the edge of the screen. Now, add a number block to represent the next X. Next, copy your X logic and reuse it for Y. You'll need to clear the block inputs and recreate them for the Y coordinate. Now, create an if block that returns true if any direction is currently being pressed, and false otherwise. Test the logic that you have so far by using the joystick. The if any direction block and the red blocks should change when you press the joystick. Use the if block to turn a stopwatch block on and off. Set the interval of the stopwatch to 0.1 seconds. 
This means that whenever a direction is being pressed, the stopwatch will update the coordinates 10 times per second. Right-click the SenseHat connection, click Set Pixel, and drag it to the data flow to create a Set Pixel block. The Set Pixel block is invoked when the stopwatch updates. It needs the current X and Y coordinates and a color. For the set pixel action, set auto run to true. This causes a pixel to turn on. You can turn it off in the data panel. Pressing a direction makes a dot appear, but the dot doesn't move yet. Add another set pixel action. This one will clear the previously lit pixel. Add two number blocks to represent the old pixel. Set the color to black. This turns off the LED. Set the clear old pixel action to auto run. Finally, add a state block. This block will cause the X and Y values to update. Give the state block four items to change by clicking the plus sign. Populate the state block as follows. A change in stopwatch output invokes the state change. The values in the old X and Y blocks get updated to the current X and Y values. To specify a path, drag to the path X property. To specify a new value, click the eye icon, then double click the blue dot next to value, and then drag to the pop-up. Again, to specify a path, drag to the path property. And to specify the new value, open the pop-up and bind to it. The current X and Y blocks get updated to the next X and Y values. Now the moving pixel is working. Finally, make an action that turns off all LEDs when the joystick button is pressed. Right click the sense hat connection, click clear screen and drag it to the data flow. This action is invoked when the state of the joystick button changes. Your logic is done. It should look like this. Pressing the joystick button clears the screen. Stay tuned for more SenseHat and DSA videos.